one pair of shades, a piece of lace, two rubber bands, one hairband, some duct tape in black color, and some wire. You can either use fuse wire or any kind of a craft kind of a wire. One sturdy needle to pierce with, one pair of shears, a pair of pliers, one pair of old nail scissors with a kind of a curved edge, and one soda can and a pair of scissors. We want to take our can and we want to take our pair of scissors. First you want to puncture into the middle of the can and just cut around. This can be a little bit sloppy because we are going to perfect the line afterwards. And there we are, we do not need this. And now we want to cut out the top of the can with the scissors and just go into the hole. Now we want to take the nail scissors and just cut around this golden top in a curved shape to eliminate the middle and cut around the can joining your etched lines together and there we are next take your piece of lace and place it over the edge of the beer can we just cut and take your elastic band around the lace surrounding the can just trim the lace around the edge. If you have a bigger piece of lace, it is much easier to do this with. I just had a small piece of lace, so I just trim away all the excess lace around the edges. Also stitch around the edges in black thread if you like to reinforce. And this is your lace lens. Next, take a length of the duct tape. And so we want to paste around the edge, making sure that it is the same all the way around. And when you get to the end, you can just snip. And then fold it around into the can. Take your binocular lens and take some duct tape and what we're going to do is we're going to gently paste the duct tape all around so that it conceals all the drawings and words on the can so it looks a nice slick black color and we paste all around the can and just snip at the end Then we are going to fold this duct tape inside the can so it protects around your eye when you wear your binocular goggle. Next take your pair of cheap black shades. These I got free in a magazine or you can get for one pound in Primark and just pop out the lenses. And what we are going to do is take your shears and just snip them and take your half glass and what we want to do is cut at this point here and at this point here so all we have is a straight line here snip with your shears one and two and you end up with a piece that looks like this there's a hinge here so you can move it like so. Next we want to remove the little screw that's inside the hinge and it looks like this. I have done with my fingernail but ideally use a very small screwdriver. What we want to do is take these two pieces apart, turn this one around and attach again And now we want to re-screw inside. 
So take your little screw and put it back inside and re-screw. So I'm just using my fingernail as a tool and pushing this screw gently around. So now you have a piece like this that hinges the other way around. Now take your needle and take your can and what we want to do is we want to make two holes so just pierce gently this is a bit tricky to do this but you just need to turn around several times and here we have a very small hole and then we want to do another one about one centimeter above it or half an inch so now take your piece of wire. This is a wire for a 15 amp fuse. We want to put it through the hole. So thread the wire through the hole and then take this sunglass handle and the hinged part and we want to place it on the side of the can next to the wire and we are going to wind this wire around the hinge on one side twice through the hole and then wind it around and on the other side twice through the other hole to hold in place. So I'm just pulling out the wire like a thread which is being looped around the can and around the sunglasses. So you have your handle nicely threaded through and reinforced attached to your can so that it opens like so and close like so and take your headband here I've already attached the other side and what you want to do is try the headband on your head and see where your ear joins the headband and then attach at that point so you're going to take a piece of wire and then hold this in place and then we want to do a kind of a crisscross shape glasses and around the headband going upwards and then downwards and then upwards so you have a kind of a crisscross here and just reinforce continue crisscrossing And there you are, your binocular shades.